Hi, my name is Dr. John Diard, and I want to talk to you today about the benefits of lying and sleeping on your left side. Probably you never thought about how you sleep or the benefits of sleeping on one side or the other. Maybe you already know that lying on your left side has great benefits for digestion. After you eat the food, the food goes into your stomach. Your stomach sort of cradles like that. If you lie on your left side, the food just sits there and the muscular contractions of your stomach can sort of contract the food out and digest it in a very gradual, kind of organized fashion. If you lied on your right side, it would push all the food out and gravity would empty it in a kind of maybe an overzealous manner and disturb the digestive pathway or process. Your pancreas is also allowing, you know, on the left side, so it allows it to empty um, uh, without being overly zealous in the emptying process. But most importantly, lying on your left side lets your stomach do the churning that it needs to do to digest properly. Very, very important. But from sleeping at night, why would you want to sleep on your left side? Well, one reason that you want to sleep on your left side is because your lymphatic system primarily dumps into the left side above your heart. So while lying on your left side allows this natural draining to take place in your lymphatic system, and there is no heart pump connected to your lymph. The lymph drains by muscular contractions, which isn't happening when you sleep. So therefore, it's just kind of a gravity-fed kind of oozing, and the lymph is supported by gravity when you sleep on your left side. One of the major organs of the lymphatic system is your spleen. The spleen is one of the central organs of your lymphatic system. It's like a big, huge lymph node. And when that's on your left side too, so when you sleep on your left, the whole lower extremity in the body drains into that spleen, helping the drain support, be, be supported and function way better. You know, I always say that in our body, it's always how well we move waist out that makes or breaks us. If the lymph system is congested, the biggest circulatory detox system that we have, if that's gone south, we can be in trouble. Ayurvedically, we always evaluate the lymphatic system first. And this is a great way to do a little lymph support uh, every single night while you sleep for eight hours, which is a pretty cool thing. In addition, the, the, your intestinal tract, your large intestine, actually is connected to your small intestine. And your small intestine kind of ends on the right side, called the ileocecal valve, and that dumps into the large intestine. And that's on the right. So when you lie on your left side, the, when you lie on your left side, what happens is the, the, all the food can actually be dumped into the small intestine in a very effortless manner, into the large intestine, and actually begin to help so get ready for a big elimination or evacuation first thing in the morning. Then the food works its way all night long into what's called the descending colon. And the descending colon, uh, the descending colon is on the left side, so it supports the, the dumping of all the waste into the descending colon. When you stand up first thing in the morning, drink a big glass of water, that triggers a peristaltic response, and that whole descending colon is ready for a big, large elimination. So it sets you up for that first morning bowel movement we always talk about, which is a very cool thing. And maybe the most important one of all is that your heart actually has a big artery coming out of it called the aorta. And when it comes up and you lie on your left side, that aorta curves to the left and then goes down into your abdomen. So when you lie on your left side and your heart is pumping, it's literally pumping downhill. Now, if you have ever worked with pumps in your yard, pumping water, irrigation, you know that pumping uphill is extremely hard. And pumping any water downhill is effortless. And so when you get the aisle on your left side, you're actually literally allowing your part to pump going downhill. And that may be the biggest benefit at all. So think about, maybe get in the fetal position, lie on your left side, and just think about the benefits of sleeping on your left side. Of course, you know, you know we always think about maybe we can get some Velcro pajamas and a Velcro sheet and just stick yourself on the left side and then you sort of get stuck. I don't think it's, we have to be this rigid about it, but go to bed thinking about that and maybe eventually you're waking up thinking about that, and then you can eventually train your body to get some of the benefits of your left side. Pretty amazing, and we don't have lots of studies, although I have seen studies that show that people lie on their left side after a meal, they get less heartburn, and they need less anti-acids, but this is an anatomically logical thing to do, and it's something that's been practiced for thousands of years as part 
of Ayurvedic medicine. Check out the article where I go into the details of this. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Villar.